Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's Expresso right here on SABC3. Now, today we are talking about a very important aspect of your home, your lighting. You cannot underestimate what a huge role this plays in your experience of your home. It needs to be functional, functional yet aesthetically pleasing. And sometimes it's not as easy as one might think. That's why we've called in the professional Craig Tabor Rayside to give us some advice on the latest home lighting trends. Craig, so good to have you in studio this morning. Thanks for having me. Lighting is everything, and I think it's something that we sometimes take for granted. We don't necessarily think about it, but tell us why is it so important to pay attention to lighting? Well, it's the light source. Yeah. So it's the first thing you see when you walk in the room, more often it is. And secondly, it's quite a clever way of highlighting parts of the room or the house that you want to draw attention to. Mm. So things that you want people to see first when they walk in. It really can be such a beautiful thing. It creates the mood. It, it creates does. the ambiance as well. But tell us, where should one start when um, planning your lighting statement in your home? Well, more often than not, um, when the home is planned, it doesn't start with lighting. People start with other things in the house, like yeah, the furniture, of course. or maybe the, some design elements, like maybe there's some brass in the kitchen, yeah. or a fitting, or a, a material used in, in a handle on a door cupboard, or whatever. Mm. Um, so what would make sense then is to draw inspiration from that and emulate that material in, the, in your choice of lighting. So what are some of the lighting designs that pe we can actually start seeing emerge in the world today? There are quite a few trends. Um, metallics is still very, very big. Oh. Our biggest supplier, Tom Dixon, um, is basically based on metallics. You know, he's, he's become famous because of it. Yeah. Um, copper especially is quite big right now. Um, another trend is marble. Oh, wow. I especially like what I'm seeing how... Uh, there it is. Um, marble is cut really thin often and light actually emulates or emits through the marble. Um, something else which is big is glass. Um, this is um, an artisanal piece, often mouth blown. Um, people love the fact that it's handmade, brings a personal touch. Um, yeah, something else which is big is the fact that people are using technologies from other industries and bringing them into lighting. Yeah. Um, a good example is Tom Dixon who used a finished street light or well, the mold from a finished street light mm. to make this light, the melt light, um, which he just sprayed with vacuum metalized polycarbonate on the inside. Wow, that's um, gorgeous. Also, pastels are quite big at the moment mm. um, and subdued colors. Um, we're seeing a lot of this coming from Denmark. Mm. So, a Danish brand, Muto, um, yeah, uses a lot of pastels and they, um, yeah, they're quite popular. Wonderful stuff. Well, Tyra Banks always tells her contestants, find the light. And the l same <laughs> should be for your home as well. Find the right lighting design for your home. So when we come back, we're going to be t talking about different trends, different lighting designs, and you'll be taking us through each one of those things. Be. Absolutely exciting times in the world of DIY. But one person that keeps us on the pulse is our DIY princess, Zoe Brown.